I met a woman in Wisconsin a few years ago. I was speaking at a conference for uh, caregivers of uh, family members who had Parkinson's and Huntington's disease. And in the morning I had talked about anger and I had talked about how fatigue contributes to, to that. And at, at lunch, I sat with this group of ladies, and they were just, just delightful women. And the woman sitting next to me told me that she had it figured out. She knew how she was going to get some rest. And um, she told me this story, and then she allowed us to turn it into this little cartoon. So this is Claudia. I've got it all figured out. I'm going to rob a bank. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get my husband in the car, and we're going to drive to the bank, and we're going to park in front. And then I'm going to get him out, and I'm going to put him behind the wheel so that he'll look like the getaway driver. He'll be my accomplice. Then I'm going to walk in with an unloaded gun, and I'm going to point it at the teller, and I'm going to say, this is a stick-up. And if she gives me any money, then I'm going to take it out to the car, and I'm going to sit in the passenger seat and wait for the police to come. Here's the beautiful thing about that. They'll arrest both of us, and they'll take him to the men's prison. Then they'll have to feed him. They'll have to do his laundry. They'll have to manage his medications. They'll have to deal with his depends. And then they'll take me to the women's prison. I will be in a cell all by myself. <laughs> I'll be able to check books out of the library. I can read during the day, and I'll be able to sleep at night, and it won't cost us a dime. <laughs> so does Claudia's plan make sense to any of you? Oh, dear. <laughs> then uh, really do get yourself involved if you aren't already in, in the coastal caregiving resources. Um, she was doing a marvelous job of managing a very stressful situation by using humor. But I don't doubt for a second that she hadn't considered doing something desperate to get a little bit of rest. And anyone who has been caring um, for a family member, a loved one, over a long period of time knows that you can get so exhausted that you think, gosh, I wish I could just break a leg or get the flu and end up in the hospital so somebody would bring food to me. I see some head shaking out here. So, you know, please, please figure out a way to get some respite to take care of yourself. Mm -hmm.